guys, welcome back to my channel and back to another video. I hope you're all doing really well. I hope you're having a good week. Hope your mental health is good. One thing that I'm doing for my mental health this week is saying no more. I feel like at the start of this year, I definitely turned into a yes person. I was saying yes, yes, yes to everything. Distraction, distraction. But now I've realized that I need to start saying no so I can get on top of things because I want more time to do the things that I really care about and that are bettering me. So I decided to say no to more things, especially this week because I am finally moving. I think if my mattress arrives, I will be moving this weekend, which is really, really exciting. So I need all the time I can get for that and all the time I can get for YouTube and everything else that I really care about. So that's just a little thing that I've done this week that has helped me and it's taken a lot of pressure off my shoulders. So that feels great. So if you need to hear that, you need to say no more this is your sign um but anyways that's all besides the point today's video is going to be a pretty little thing haul but it's not just a normal haul because i actually asked you guys on instagram to help me pick out my items so i chose two items that were kind of similar and got you to vote over there and all of the items i ate are right here so we've got a big old bag of stuff from Pretty Little Thing. Everything looks amazing online and I'm really hoping it looks just as good in person because some of these pieces are stunning. So without further ado, let's go and try some of these items on. I was actually really surprised at some of the things that you chose over the other one. I thought some things would be like just a straight up win and you guys would choose that, but then you chose the opposite. So a few surprises in there, but let's go and try everything on. Okay, so starting out with the first item, you were choosing between two black crop tops. Uh, which are these ones right here. The one on the left I really liked, but I thought was definitely more casual, like something I would wear. Well, I guess it's not really casual because it's a little black crop top, but I feel like it's more like you could make it more daytime. The one on the right definitely is more nighttime, and that is the one that you guys chose with 68%. So I've got it right here. I'm really hoping that it fits. I can't remember what size I got it in. I got it in a size 10, so I sized up. So hopefully... That fits over my boobs. This top was called the Black Woven Boned Strappy Back Bralette. So let's pop it on, see how it looks. I don't really know how I feel. I kind of feel like it just looks like I'm wearing a pair of sunglasses on my boobs. I don't know why. I don't know what's making me think it looks like a pair of sunglasses, but I just feel like it looks a bit weird. What do you guys think? I've just popped it on with a pair of shorts. But I probably wear it maybe with like a pair of leather pants or a pair of jeans or a skirt. But I don't know. I don't know how I feel. I feel like it looks a bit weird. Maybe it's because I do have bigger boobs and it's a, a big top. I'm actually going to need your guys' opinion on this because I actually do not know. So, yeah, I guess we're just going to have to wait and see what you guys think i had to bend these little underwire parts here because they were sticking straight out and looked really funny so i bent them in and then i really adjusted the back so it sat nicely under my boobs i am glad i went for the size 10 i feel like if i went for the size 8 it would have been a bit too small although maybe it would have looked a little better i don't know you guys are gonna have to let me know on this one but let's move on to the next item okay next i found two sets that i really liked the look of so it was out of these two right here and it was definitely a bit of a close call but i was hoping that you guys would choose the right side and you did you came through you chose the one with the maxi skirt which i absolutely loved i love the pattern of it so i'm definitely hoping it looks good on so let's pop her on and see how it looks actually let me just share the name first in case you guys like it. I can link it. I will link everything down below as well. So if you do like anything, you can go and grab it. Uh, but this is the Shape Black Textured Rib Tie-Dye Plunge Bralette. And I got them in this top in a size 8. And I think I got the skirt in a size 6 because I think I could get them separately. But I will um, let you know if I didn't. Okay, so this is the two-piece set on. And I could get these two items separately, by the way. So the skirt is in a size 6. This top is in a size eight, but I almost wish I got it in a size six because it's actually quite big, which is surprising. So I feel like with this extra material, I actually kind of want to like wear it like that. I feel like that would look really cool if I can cross it over. So I will try that. The skirt, I love. I think it's really nice, but I also think it's quite big as well. And I don't know if that's because it's shape and these are particularly made for girls who have like nice big voluptuous booties, which I do not. So maybe that's why, but it definitely fits nicely around my bum. I just feel like it's a little bit loose around my legs when I feel like I'd rather it be a bit more tight, at least around my thighs, because obviously you want to be able to walk in it. Um, but there is a split up the back, which I don't know if you can see to help you walk, which is really, really nice. I love the lace up back. I love the pattern. I think it's beautiful. I'll come up closer so you guys can see. 
but I just feel like it's not fitting as nicely as I would like it to. I might try and do that crossover thing and show you guys what that looks like instead. That didn't quite work out how I want it sitting a bit funny because it's a bit gapy over here because obviously it's not meant to be sitting like that, but um, yeah, so I'm not sure about this set. Again, you guys are going to have to let me know, but I just feel like I'm not obsessed with it. I'm being pretty strict lately, only keeping things that I really love, so... I don't know if this goes in the really love pile. Next, I picked up this top. This actually wasn't on the voting poll on Instagram. I just really liked it and I thought I would show you guys it on because I think it's really cute. It's an exposed seam little tank top. Not that I need any white crop tops, but I just thought this was really cute. Such an easy thing to chuck on with a pair of jeans. It's called the White Rib Curb Hem Strappy Top. I got it in a size 8, so I will quickly try this one on for you guys. This is the little crop on. I love it. This is really cute. For a cheap little crop, I will definitely be keeping this and wearing it. I think it's really nice. I like that it's a nice thick material. I don't have to worry about it being see-through, which is really different for like a cheaper little tank top. So I really appreciate that. It definitely doesn't fit like all the way under my boobs, but honestly, for a cheap little top, I really like it. I'll definitely keep this. I think it is really nice. Like this with a pair of jeans. Oops, I mean underwear. <laughs> um, this is a pair of jeans or a pair of trackies for a more casual day. Really cute. Next, I really liked the look of this corset, but I didn't know which color to get. I actually wanted this to pair with one of the skirts that I chose. So it was out of these two colors right here. You guys chose white, of course, with 83%. So you definitely like white. I thought the green would have been a little bit different, but I can definitely see why you guys chose the white corset because I think I'll definitely get, should I say definitely again? I need to stop saying definitely. I think I will get a lot more wear out of the white, obviously. So I am glad that you guys chose this. It is called the White Satin Bandeau Hook and Eye Corset. And I got mine in a size 8. It actually looks quite big. So I'm a little worried it's not going to fit. But I say that and maybe it's probably not even going to fit around my boobs. So we'll have to see. Oh no, this one's not right. For one, it was... Uh, you actually have to do it up at the front. There's no zip, so I have to do it all the way out, which is fine. It didn't take that long, but it's definitely not fitting nicely. It is big. For a size 8, this is a big top. I could have gone for... Well, actually, I probably couldn't have because, as you can see, it's quite tight over my boobs and then really loose around the waist. So I feel like this is definitely designed for someone with a smaller chest. I feel like they can get away with it, but for me, it's just not working. It's super loose around my waist, which is such a bummer because this was like the skirt that I got. Like if it was like that, that'd be so much nicer. <clears throat> I'm annoyed. Oh, well, I'm just gonna have to get another corset to wear with the skirt. Yeah, this one doesn't work. So if you have big boobs, I'd probably give this one a miss. Yeah, that's unfortunate, but let's try on the next item. Next, I thought I would try on the skirt that I actually planned to wear with this top. This is the skirt right here. You're not really going to be able to see what's going on off, but it's such a beautiful skirt. My friend Lexi actually has this and she wore it. I was like, I need that in my life. So this one was another color choice. It was between black and sage and sage one. Thank goodness. I feel like you guys came through for me on that because you know I love sage. So I'm definitely glad that sage one with 58%. I got this one in a size. Do you guys like my phone case, by the way? I just caught that. It's really cute. It's got little doggies. Um, what was I saying? I got distracted by my phone case. Uh, I got it in a size 6, so hopefully it fits. And it is called the Sage Roost Side Midi Skirt. Ah, uh, yes, this is the first winner, straight up winner. I love this. This is so beautiful. I want this in black now. Look at this skirt. How cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the size 6 fits really nicely. I love this skirt. It's fitting nice and tight around my waist. It accentuates your curves and makes them look bigger, which I definitely always want. <laughs> Can you tell I'm excited about the skirt? Um, yeah, I love this. Love, love, love this. I will definitely be wearing this on the weekend with a white little top. You could do black even. I probably prefer to do white, actually. This is like a white little handbag. Black, white. Oh, I cannot talk. I'm too excited. Um, with white strapping heels, white little handbag, little white crop. Absolutely stunning. This is like a 10 out of 10 for me. I'm so excited. Yay, how cute. It's definitely giving me like tighter sheet around me vibes, but I kind of like that. I feel like it's cute. I really like this. Let's move on to the next item. Okay, next we have another Sage item, of course. And this one really surprised me. I did not think you would choose this over the other top. So this is what you guys went for. It's a really cute Sage, like silky little tee, which I love. 
Um, but we'll choose between the one on the left and one, the one on the right, obviously. The one on the left I really thought would win. It's the one I actually kind of preferred, but we'll see what this looks like on. This one was 79%, so you guys way preferred this one. So let's pop it on, see how it looks. I got it in a size 8, and it's called the, oh, it's a petite Petite sage green seam detail crop top. Okay, so this is the top that you guys chose on. I actually really like it. I love the soft satin material. I love the exposed seam. It's a really, really nice little top, and I think I will definitely be wearing this. This is a pair of jeans, pair of shorts, really cute. I like it. It's definitely a little bit nipply, so I feel like if I was to wear, well, when I do wear this out in public, I will probably wear it with a bra. Although that might, like, because it is that, like, satiny, silky material, you can kind of see everything through it. So maybe it might ruin, like, the detailing of the top. So I'm not too sure. But I really like this. It's really cute. Obviously, I love the color. I feel like this with the fresh tan will look really, really nice. So, yeah, I like this. Okay, next up, we have another top. I love this. This is stunning. The perfect winter long sleeve top. I'm so happy you guys chose it. So you're choosing between these two items right here, which I both loved equally. I literally didn't care which one you chose because I think they both look really cute and they're like a really nice transitional piece as well. So this brown piece won with 67% and then the left side was 33%. So Definitely happy you guys chose this because I'm loving brown at the moment. So I'm really, really excited about it. This is in a size 8 and it's called the Chocolates Ace Tate Slinky Ruched Front Shirt. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I love this top so much. This is another home run for me. This and the green skirt so far, absolute 10 out of 10s. Amazing, love, can't wait to wear. This top is so cute. I love the color for one. I like that it's like a slightly, slightly, oh my God. <laughs> a slightly like shimmery material. It's a perfect autumn color. I absolutely love it. It's so comfortable. It's keeping me really warm right now. Like I'm not wearing pants and I'm kind of hot. So this is going to be perfect when it gets a little bit cooler. Uh, I love the ruching detailing. I feel like it's really flattering on the boobs. It's like put together, but sexy. I really, really like this top and I'm very happy that you guys chose it. So thank you for that. 10 out of 10. Let's move on to the next piece. Okay. Next we're moving into dresses. You guys chose this beautiful midi chocolate brown dress, which looks kind of confusing off the hanger, but I'm sure I'll be able to work out how to get it on my body. So it was out of uh, this blue dress on the left and the brown dress on the right. I feel like you guys did me a solo choosing the brown because as much as I like the blue dress, I feel like I probably would only wear it once and not wear it again. Whereas more neutral colors, I'm absolutely Absolutely loving and I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of and this color I actually in the picture as you guys can probably see it looks a lot lighter but in person it's a really deep dark chocolate brown which I don't have uh, a dress this color my other brown dresses which I do have a few admittingly admittedly admittedly um, but I don't have one this color so I'm really glad it is a little bit darker I got it in a size 6 so hopefully it fits. It's called the Chocolate Ribbed Open Back Detail Sleeveless Midi Dress. So let's pop it on and see how it looks. Okay, I have a few thoughts about this dress. I really like it, firstly. It's really, really flattering. I love like the halter neck right here. I like it's a thick halter neck. I feel like it's really flattering on the arms, which I definitely appreciate because I do have like kind of muscly arms. So I like when um, dresses and tops flatter them. I love how it is super low cut down the side. I feel like it's really sexy. Definitely more of a night out dress. And because it does go in on the side, it really like accentuates your body. So I love that. I also love the low back. There's a lot of things I really love about this dress. It's a super flattering cut. Um, the only thing that's bothering me is the sides up here. It's all a bit lumpy. It's kind of not fitting right. It's like it just needs to be pulled tighter so it doesn't do that on the side. And then it is flicking out like a tiny bit here. But those are really minuscule things and I feel like I still would wear this dress. But let me know what you guys think. If you think it's not wearable, like, I don't know. Does it look too cheap because it is kind of sitting out funny on the side? I don't know. Apart from that, I think it's such a nice dress. And I probably wear it like I am now with maybe my hair up, pair of strappy heels, big pair of earrings. Did I get it in a size six? Yeah, I did. So yeah, really, really happy with this fit. Just not too sure about the side but I feel like I could get away with it, I don't know. Okay, this next one, I think you guys saved me once again because looking back at this uh, picture, I don't like the dress on the left. Like it is cute and I feel like with a pair of sneakers it would look cute, but I don't think I'd wear it that much. This one, however, is right up my alley. You guys know me, you can tell. I love a backless dress, I love a midi dress. This one's actually maxi, it goes right down to the ankles. It looks a little bit sheer though, so I'm kind of worried about that, but it is black, so we'll have to see. Um, this is, in a size six, it's called the 
well it's a black recycled so this is made out of recycled clothing from a pretty little thing it's like a little range they have which i think is amazing obviously it's called the black recycled e high neck cut out back midi and yeah so that's what it looks like this one with 74 percent. so you guys really like this dress so hopefully it looks good on and it's not too sheer this is the dress on it is definitely a maxi dress it is very very long so it is kind of hard to walk in but it's stretchy so i feel like it's actually kind of doable but i love this i think this is really really beautiful and i will definitely be wearing this it looks quite formal but i feel like because it is a ribbed material you can get away with it just for like a nice dinner and drinks I love the low back, like that is so stunning. I definitely would have to make sure I've done a really good amount of fake tan on my back because normally my back is that tan because it just doesn't hold tan for some reason. Don't know why, but yeah, I just have to work on that. It's definitely not too see-through either. It was kind of see-through, like I don't know if you can tell between the legs, so I put a pair of seamless underwear on. I was going to go without them, but because it was kind of see-through, I was like, mm, perhaps not. So yeah, keep that in mind. The back also is like extremely low. You can pull it up, but then it kind of makes that sit a little bit funny. So very low it is, but I kind of love that. I feel like that's really sexy. You just have to make sure your underwear doesn't come up and get in the way. But yeah, super cute. Really happy with this. I just forgot I had to talk before popping the next item on. So that's why I just chucked on this tank quickly. But the second last item is another midi skirt, which I love. So it just looks like this. This was out of a zebra kind of... Not really, actually, no, it's not really zebra. It's like an abstract kind of print. So that got 41% and then this got 59%. So fairly close, but I really love this. I love the color. Again, another beautiful uh, autumn color. So I'm happy that I have this in my wardrobe. I got this in a size six as well, and it's called the Rust Woven O-Ring Cutout Drape Midi Skirt, and it looks beautiful. So hopefully it fits nicely. So let's try it on. Yay, once again, we have another absolute winner. This is... Another 10 out of 10 for me. I absolutely love it. These style skirts are so flattering. If you don't own one of these yet and you like this, definitely get your hands on them because I think they are so beautiful. I love this. With like a little crop, strappy heels. It's just such a vibe. I absolutely love it. I'm so happy that we chose this one. And I'm so happy that I have two styles of these skirts now because I feel like I'm just going to be reaching for them all the time. I absolutely love it. I love the O-ring cutout. It's beautiful. I have had to move my underwear down. So you could just go underwearless or just do it after and move it down. It's up to you. But yeah, cute. Definitely needs a little bit of an iron. But I love this. I wonder if this one came in other colors. I can't remember if it did or not. But this rust is definitely something. I stop saying that. Why can't I stop saying that word? I forgot what I was saying now. I like the color rust. Is that what I was saying? I don't even know, but I like this color. It's something a little bit different for me, so I'm happy that I have this in my wardrobe. How cute. Love it. And last but not least, I couldn't do a little online shop without picking up a new pair of heels. I didn't have a pair of brown, like, uh, not that these are brown, they're more of like a rust, but I didn't have a pair of brown heels, so I got you guys to choose between these two right here, and these ones won by 88%, so you absolutely love these. I think the strap was what sold these on people, because straps are just really nice. I love a strappy heel, so I'm glad you guys chose these. The color is definitely more of a rust, and I think, I can't remember if that was in the description. I probably would love if they were a little less like ready rust, because I feel like brown would go with a lot more of the items in my closet, although I do really love these and think I will wear them. I wonder if I could get away. Like, I could probably wear them with this skirt, and that would look really good as well. So I'll definitely be getting some wear out of these. Um, but yeah, you guys chose these, and I do really like them. And lastly, I wanted to show you a couple of accessories that I picked up for myself whilst shopping on Pretty Little Thing. I picked up these little silver hoop earrings because all I have is gold earrings, and whenever I wear silver hardware, I never have earrings to go with it. Uh, so I picked these up. They're called the Super Hoop Chunky Earrings in one size. And the main reason I got these was because I picked up this... Uh, corset belt which I knew had silver hardware because uh, insert a photo so you guys can actually see what it looks like because it's probably going to be quite hard but I thought I would like to wear this with a like a white oversized tee this chucked around pair of like black boots and obviously those silver earrings I feel like that would be a really cool look so I picked this up I'm hoping it looks good I just feel like that would look so nice for a night out especially now that we're coming into the cooler months and I can wear knee high boots love it so i picked that up and then lastly i picked up not that i need any more gold necklaces but i saw this and thought it was really cute it's like a gold chunky little link necklace and this is called uh the gold chain assorted t-bar necklace in one size uh, so that 
is everything that I have to show you from Pretty Little Thing. I'll link everything down below. This video is not sponsored, by the way, just to add that in. I don't even know if I need to, but um, yeah, everything will be linked down below. I hope you enjoyed this haul. Am I going out of focus? I am right here. Thank you. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Let me know if you have any other haul ideas, any other places you want me to try shopping online, any other cool, fun ideas that I can do. Let me know because filming this haul has been so much fun for me today. I've been going through a lot of stress at the moment. I don't need to get too much into it because I don't want to bore you guys, but it's been quite a stressful time. TMI, but I've even lost my period, which is crazy. I lost my period for the first time a couple years back and it's happened again. No, I'm not pregnant. Um, but yeah, I definitely need to go and see a doctor about that because it's just what happens to me when I'm highly stressed. It's actually kind of delayed stress because a couple weeks back I was in a really, really bad place. I'm doing better now. I'm managing my time better and I'm saying no, like I said at the start of the video, but I feel like all that stress is caught up on me and my body is like, no, you are not <laughs> fit to bear children right now so i definitely need to sort that out but filming this has literally felt like therapy to me so thank you guys for supporting me uh give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos from me it would mean the world to me if you did and until then i hope you guys have an amazing day or night wherever you are and i'll be seeing you in my next video bye guys <laughs>